Hi there and welcome. You seem to have stumbled across this expert guide to open system organizations right here on the internet. For CMN 2148 Fall 2013 at the University of Ottawa. Here's a very brief summary of this communication theory celebrated for its non-summative principles. Okay, so the birth of open system organization began with a biologist named Ludwig think Harry Potter von Britta Lampf, who first developed a general systems theory. He was all about the organism, truly fascinated by the many different parts or systems that seem to function within and around it. And thus he believed that his fellow theorists around the world should approach science and communication for that matter in a way that considered the environment in, within and surrounding the organism. This theory developed over 400 years and continues. Together, the theorists concluded that there exists constant exchange between the environment and the system of an organization. In a sense, there is a closed connection between a system and its environment. A system or organization being an institution, a group of people, and really whatever you can really apply to the concept. And of course, never forgetting the interaction with the environment. Think of it as similar to ancient Chinese stacking boxes. Within one box, there exists a seemingly infinite number of smaller boxes, each an object or system on its own, but always having space to hold or interact with another box. Now imagine that every box is penetrated by millions of holes. These holes are key. They allow for the system, or box in our example, to exchange the energy, matter, and information that exists in an environment. All of which the organization or system will use to maintain itself in a homeostasis or steady state. This is of course in an attempt to decrease entropy. Entropy meaning a system's tendency to deteriorate and run down. By avoiding anthropic behavior, open systems can even evolve towards higher complexity. This balance is achieved by implementing requisite variety. Requisite variety being the appreciation for diversity, so apples or oranges, <laughs> within a system and organization. Bringing it back to our box example, it means more and more boxes with more and more holes, creating internal subsystems on top of subsystems connected to other subsystems. As a whole, these principles and open system approach have allowed us to break free from bureaucratic thinking, promoting the concept of equifinality, and to organize in a way that is mutually beneficial to an organism and its environment. You've reached the end. Go through the other videos for a more in-depth look at some of the terms and concepts I've mentioned. Thanks for watching, and hopefully this video helped.